This is E.T. And this here is Jack Chappie Blackburn. He was a pioneer of ringmanship in his own right before he became Joe Lewis's trainer. He recognized that Lewis had but one major asset, and that was a devastating punch. But everything else required to make Joe a real champion had to be taught. For instance, when and where to accurately deliver that punch. In footwork, Joe Lewis did not inherit the deft footwork of a Mayweather Jr., a Roy Jones Jr., a Willie Pep, or even Blackburn himself. He taught Joe how to build stamina and timing. Blackburn also emphasized exercise and diet, and that kept Joe Lewis's six-foot-two frame, that's what, 1.9 meters, at a solid 200 pounds or 90, 91 kilos. Here is a typical training and diet routine for Joe Lewis, that he followed in 1937. Five o'clock, the alarm clock goes off. He's out of bed. 45 minutes later, he's doing road work, running, walking, jogging, eight miles on sand. Blackburn is following in a car. At 7.15, he returns to his living quarters. At 7.30, he takes a 15-minute shower. Now, that's sort of long. But the idea, according to Blackburn, is to get the water going hot, cold, hot, cold, to stimulate blood flow. At 7.45, Joe Lewis is back in bed, sometimes napping, sometimes reading the paper, sometimes listening to music. At 9.45, he shaves, gets dressed. Between 10 and 11, the first meal of the day. One particular morning, he has orange juice, stewed prunes for fiber, a couple of soft-boiled eggs, buttered toast, and green tea. Between 12 and 1 p.m., he's in a boat, a rowboat, very heavy, for an hour. Between 1 and 2, another nap. Between 2 and 4, sparring. He does this four times a week, usually. Between 4 and 6, he listens to his Victrola. And between 6 and 7.30, dinner. This is the second of only two meals a day. Beef bouillon, 1.5 pounds of broiled chicken. Spinach, a whole platter full of celery. Stewed uh, tomatoes, green beans, and corn muffins. Generally, he stayed away from starches. Between 7.30 and 10 p.m., he'll listen to the radio. By 10 p.m., Joe Lewis is always in bed, and he usually sleeps between 7 and 8 hours. Also, on occasion, he would use uh, whatever free time he had to study math and English, as he said, to feel more at ease around writers who Joe Lewis did not smoke, he did not drink, he did not chew. What do you think? That's it. Did you like this video? Thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, do so now. Please share these videos with other social media. Thank you.